Welcome to this week's TDD Weekly Report for the week ending February 2nd. First up, this article was sent to me by Navy Thomas 8. Thank you, Tom. It's from foxnews.com. U.S. military to test lasers on warplanes in 2014. Now, these will be on fighter jets, so these lasers will be shrinked down, and they will shrink down, shrunk down to about the 150 kilowatt size, still enough to take on some small millet, uh, small missiles and things like that. They were also talking about that possibly these could be fitted to drones and used by drones to uh, not just knock down missiles but also used as offensive weapons for ground-based targets. I guess in the past they've tested these type of lasers on naval ships and been able to take out small vessels on them. The, the interesting thing though is if you read down to the end of this article there's a scientist that is actually um, taking donations from people and he wants to make a laser that's even a lot smaller but maybe just as effective and his idea is taking the laser itself and making it as a pulse like an EMP pulse burst to take out the electronics of an incoming missile so that's kind of a neat idea too I mean you don't even need to necessarily obliterate the missile itself structurally but if you just damage or completely destroy the electronics so they can't function then pretty pretty much you have an out of control missile and possibly could even uh, basically destroy the detonation system and everything so it would just be a chunk of metal falling back to earth so I think that's a pretty good idea so if you get a chance to check that out next up this is from Huffington Post Ken Williams this is a guy strolling along the beach uh, I believe in the UK, finds ambergris on beach, rare chunk of sperm whale vomit worth up to $180,000. Um, it's not technically ambergris, if you know what it is. A sperm whale does eat, um, uh, what do you call it, squids, and the beaks of the squids are very irritating, so a lot of the sperm whales in their small intestine will form a coating, and it's called this coating that protects their intestines from the beaks, um, probably damaging them, rubbing against them, causing abrasions, um, makes ambergris and it's used in perfume manufacture. Not so much anymore because people are using synthetics. But this guy did get a genuine offer. He's got a six pound piece and this guy did get a genuine offer of $68,000 for it. I looked up online to really see if some of these prices are realistic and they're saying right now the market for it because the synthetics is going quite a bit down. So expect whatever they tell you it's worth to be maybe more like 50% to 25% of what they actually say. But still $68,000 is a, a pretty decent chunk of change. And he was just walking along the beach and his dog uh, went up to this kind of weird lock looking rock and just started sniffing it so he picked it up and noticed that there was a waxy substance all over it took it got examined and found that it was ambergris so if you're strolling along the beach I haven't seen any stories lately of anybody finding any in the United States on either the coastline so it must be pretty rare but I even saw uh, one person found some I think a year or so ago in uh, South Africa I think strolling along a beach in South Africa they found one so I don't know how often you get a chance to see it, but maybe if you're on an east or west coast beach, you could at least look for that stuff. Maybe make a little bit of money. And for those of you that are not aware of it, I've seen several stories on it, but Stickum pretty much is gone now. They're going to leave the site up. It's not functional as of, I think, the last day in January was the last day it was actually functional, but they're going to leave the site up so you can go to your account and anything that you have recorded there that remains there you can actually download it or keep it somehow so if you get a chance and you uh, remember having a stickum account I have one myself I should actually go there and check it out but I don't think I ever recorded anything I think I just used it as a chat so I'm not really worried about losing anything but it might be kinda interesting just to log on and go a little bit down memory lane I don't think I used stickam for the last two years I think it was more than two years ago was the last time I even used my stickum account so I've gotta go even see if I can remember what my login and my password is and what is next? This is from my friend Harry T sent me in a really interesting link to a video and I'll show you a few little clips of this. This is National Taiwan University. They develop a leg wheeled hybrid type of robot and this is really cool because it can roll along like a four wheeled robot but also just with a looks like some kind of a solenoid device it can flip these wheels in half and make them into curved legs to where it can go over some really rough types of terrain but the most impressive thing is at the very end of the video when you get a chance to see it climbing stairs by doing this the correct way they can make this robot even be able to climb stairs fairly easy it's not fast but still just to make a robot that can run on wheels 
and be able to climb stairs as well. It's pretty impressive. And uh, last up, I'm going to keep this uh, TDD report quite short because I'm sure a lot of you probably are going to be wanting to watch the Super Bowl. And as usual, I'm going to make my yearly call on the Super Bowl. I've got it two years ago. I got it right on. Last year I was off by one point and I believe Smyrna Cowboy got it and beat me. So I'm going to challenge you guys to name the winner and name the point spread. And if you get them both and you're able to beat me on the point spread, whoever is the one that beats me the worst or maybe gets it right on and gets the exact point score, um, I will actually do a show on whatever subject you pick. Now, like I said before, it probably better be something to do with science or gadgets or something like that because if you pick another subject, it'll probably be a very, very short bit that I can do on that. But whatever, if you are the winner of the contest, and as usual, if there's a tie or something like that, then what I'll do is I'll just uh, draw names, or maybe if there's just a couple people that tie, maybe I'll actually do a subject for both of the winners, but that will be the main subject of my show to whoever makes the pick and the win, and if you want to hear my pick, it will be. Now, I don't have a favorite, just before I tell you, I don't have a favorite in this. I don't like the Ravens or the 49ers one more than the other. I just have this gut feeling sometimes, and I just go by the gut feeling, and it's worked for the last two years, so my gut feeling, Baltimore Ravens, by 10 points. So, like I said, it's not that I have anything against the 49ers. Don't like either team more than the other. I hope it's going to be a real fun game to watch, and that's the main thing, and have fun. But that's my call, Baltimore Ravens by 10 points. So if I'm wrong on that, then whoever picks the San Francisco 49ers, if they end up winning, will be ahead of me on that, and you'll be in the running for getting your subject to be talked about on my show next, either next week or the following week. You know, Give me two weeks if I have to to learn a little bit about whatever the subject you want me to talk about, but I will at least make that the main subject of the show. So that's all for this week. Have fun watching the Super Bowl. Have a great week after that, and I will catch you next week.